Hello, I am Quinny. Welcome to the channel. In this video today, guys, we have got some amazing stuff to be going through. I have bought my first unique. We've got a tier one champion euro rare reward to be pack opening today. And I've done it on a little trade or two. Thought I'd spend a couple of minutes, just make a video. We'll do all that stuff in the video today. At any point, guys, you laugh, you learn, you like something, whatever. Please do smash that thumbs up button below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know about the reward. I don't even know what it is yet. Let me know if you like it. Let me know about my unique. Do you think I got a good deal? Are you happy with the trades? And yeah, let's get stuck into it. I am hyped. Oh, so where to start? Where to start? Now, I don't think I've ever sat on a reward opening as long as I have today. So I think we'll start with the reward opening. So let's just get stuck right into it. A lot of dog eating beetroot. I've updated my Hall of Fame. I thought I had my rookies in there, like my Kamavinga and the Ren Shark, my Matthias Cherky, the 15 year old card, yada yada, works and whatever. And I thought, let's get the supers in. It's becoming that season where the convergence is about to happen. Barco's going to be in for a river plate. Tonali's coming into form. Darwin and Rio are the talk of the town. And Lucas Nemeka should be coming back from injury. So I'm hyped about these guys. And they're, I want to keep them very much at the front of my mind. So we've got a nice little update on the Hall of Fame. So we finished 25th in Champ Euro Pro. Um, if you didn't catch the stream, uh, we'll give you a quick peek at the team so you can see who won it for us. It was my boy Bryce Mendes bagging two goals for Saint Vigo in a 2 0 win. Joanne Jordan's debut for FC Barcelona, and my club. Um, and a 0 0 draw, almost 60 points, which was lovely. Andre Silva, captain, got his goal against Bayern. Unfortunately, Guardiol had an OG, it cost him 20 points, and it's cost us a place higher up the rewards pool, unfortunately. We're going to be picking a bottom end tier one rather than a top end tier one. So let's hope it doesn't backfire too bad on us. And then Nubo got one of his clean sheets of the season. And with the multiplier, because we've had the Nubo for so long, that managed to ring in at over 73 points. So a great team in a division that most people are terrified about spending money and going after. This team was assembled for a very nominal fee across the piece at each time that I picked them all up. And hopefully that gives you a wee bit of insight of what's required to pull a prize up in this division. If you're watching this and you haven't even signed up to SoRare yet, there's a link in the description down below that'll entitle you to a free card once you buy five from the market. It's an exclusive link that SoRare have given me because they love the content and they want to support the channel. So by doing that, you'll get yourself a free card and you'll support all the content that comes to you from Quinny3001 and SoRare TV. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So without any more further ado, guys, I've also got, it says two rewards here. We also have our minimum E threshold of 0.01 to collect as well as the tier one rare. So there's our little bit of ETH now. I'm getting excited. It's my first like real reward of 2022. Tier one champion Europe. It's a good pool to be getting a reward from. Let's hope it's a goodie. And we've got a tier one, Sandro Tonali. Hey, my man. We've got a rare as well. Fantastic. Now, do I sell that or do I keep that is the question. So Sandrino, I didn't actually play him in this game week because against Inter Milan, I thought it was going to be a tough fixture, but Sandro Tonali is very much coming in to his own game. 58 with all round. I'm very, oh, I'm very excited about that. It's actually one of the better cards I could have won. And I'm very happy. It's somebody I'm very familiar with. Yeah, he's up at half a coin now. Absolutely lovely. I don't know what to do with that, if I'm going to keep it or sell it or whatever, but yeah, buzzing, man. That is very good. I'm very excited about that. So welcome to the club, Sandrino. We've got one from this season and we've got one from last season. Let me know, guys, is that a good reward for finishing 25th in Champ Euro Pro? I'm quite chuffed with it. And as you can see, I've been pretty chuffed with the super rare that I've got already. So happy days. Now, guys, like I said at the tip off of the video, we have acquired... We have acquired our very first unique. Can you have a guess who it might be? I'll give you a little hint. Former City Football Group, high prospect, former Barcelona player. Had a short stint at Arsenal on loan where he fell on his face. Who could I be talking about? He's having a great season so far alongside Bryce Mendes. And it is the one, the only, Dennis Suarez. My first unique in the club. And I've got to say, guys, I'm absolutely buzzing. You can probably tell. Um, <laughs> I missed out on a Bryce Mendes unique about the same price that I paid for this guy a couple of months ago and I was absolutely kicking myself in. No word of a lie, guys. The first kind of thought that came to my mind was when I was looking at the uniques I could get, I was thinking a Dennis Suarez 
would be a lovely unique because he's probably not going to be that highly rated by the whales that normally shop for the uniques. And subsequently, it's a guy that I can pair with my Mendes now that I had, you know, now that I had one at this point when I was having these thoughts. And it's a guy I know something about. And I've been watching Centre Vigo, so I know he's been playing well. He's been using that wicked left foot of his. He's picked up a good bunch of assists, a couple of goals this year. And I'm hoping them. Um, the second half of the season, especially, is going to be good for Dennis Suarez. Now, <clears throat> this is where it gets fun. We're about to have the convergence, so which that means is we're going to have all the leads active. Now, what that unique allows me to do is go into D2 now with a real credible effort at chasing down the star super rare that's up there. Now, winning that, that division is going to be very, very difficult, but for me, that can be quite comfortably my priority division come game week 248 onwards. A lot of other people that play with uniques and super rares really do not rate the D2s. So if I'm going into a division, one man's trash is another man's treasure, Kansas City shuffle, they go left, you go right. That's what I'm all about. So I'm hoping the division that I'm going to be putting a lot more effort into as of game week 248, which is the all-star super rare division, maybe I can get lucky, maybe I can pull some prizes from there. And I'm hoping and Dennis Suarez. Maybe I'll have Joseph Martinez Atlanta up front. Maybe I'll have Trippier from Newcastle in defence. I could have so many different options and having that unique midfielder going in there along with maybe a rare, a super rare goalkeeper could do me the world of good. And as you can see guys, even as well in my wildest dreams, if the fixtures pan out the way we want them to, I am well equipped with uh, super rares for champion euro the only thing i need is nameka to come back fit and then i've got a good contingent of midfielders and defenders already midfielders in particular i'm quite um i'm quite full and i've only got two defenders for champion euro super rare which is pablo mafeo and kieran trippier here that i picked up for a whopping 45 pound over a year ago um <laughs> so i'm absolutely high as a kite guys i'm absolutely buzzing i cannot wait I cannot wait for game week 248. It's going to be so special. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The only other thing I would want to tell you about that I've been getting up to today is I sold my Matt Turner. Now, as you guys will know, Matt Turner was a card that I was very attached to when he first came out. It was number eight of 100. I've had him for ages. He was very good to me, very good for me. But unfortunately, with that transfer to Arsenal, it just raises so many questions for the future of his career. I cannot sit on a goalkeeper that costs about half an ETH that I know will diminish as time goes on. So we sold him for half an ETH or something like that. And we went and we picked up, um, oh, I was going to say he's not here. I was absolutely crapping my pants there for a second that the card had disappeared, but we're in champion Euro rather than all-star. We picked up a Jonathan Bond. Now, going from Turner to Bond is a bit of a sideways, potentially slightly backward step, but Bond is not going to be leaving MLS anytime soon. He's traditionally been a backup keeper in England and last year at the Galaxy he was number one and he got a lot of plaudits. I've got a great footprint in the Galaxy already and him along with Sean Johnson can go in as my MLS keepers, one from the Eastern Conference and one from the Western Conference and I can use them in the European off-season with a great degree of confidence and we managed to skim off a little bit of profit so I sold the Matt Turner for half a coin flat having paid 0.44 for him so that's like a a 15% profit and then we've managed to spend most of that on the bond but still pocket a tiny fraction of that profit so overall it's a kind of net um a net zero gain kind of transaction but i'm very happy with it that i managed to shift him on and get him moving as you'll have seen there as well i've also picked up a stefano sensei now sensei is one of these guys that a lot of the viewers of the channel will know why i like this guy he used to be a he used to be a, a pb PB performance bonus. Yep, used to be a PB merchant back in the day. He's just went to Sampdoria and on his debut got a goal and bagged over 80. I snapped this off the market thanks to Harry Trades for pointing out to me that he has scored the goal. And I'm hoping that Sensei can be maybe my little Italian Max Arnold. Um, so absolutely buzzing to get him into the club and hopefully at Sampdoria in the second half of the season, Sensei can recover his former glory that got him the move to Inter Milan. And it was actually really funny because I think me and John we're actually talking about Sensei not long ago in a video, so Sod's Lauder, even though he transferred. So it just felt right, guys. And a lot of these transfers that I do manage to pull off on occasion, sometimes it just feels right. You know, I woke up today, I'm coming in, had some great recordings lined up that I finished, and they will be coming out to you on like Friday and Saturday. And, you know, I just come in, fire up the computer, and I'm like, okay, let's just have a look. What's going on in the market? Do I have any offers? And I don't know what possessed me. I think it was maybe because McBride picked up a Philip Max the other day. I thought, Let's just go and have a look at what uniques are up for sale and what ones are on auction. 
and this Suarez had been captured as a referral reward by this guy two hours before I bought him and I was just, I was absolutely sweating. I was like, what did I do? Did I try and negotiate with the guy? Did I try and do a trade? It was listed at this price and I'd shat it on a Bryce Mendez unique at the same price. And as you guys know, I've been dying to get some uniques into the club. And um, I hummed and a hawed for about 40 minutes. I was pacing up and down here and thinking, did I DM the guy? Did I try and find him on Discord? And again, guys, not to sound like an asshole or anything, but sometimes when I do that, people are like, oh, well, if this guy wants them, he must be worth something and up the price. So eventually, I came to the conclusion that over the weekend, I'd sold Jesus Medina Super Rare for 0.4, and I'd sold uh, Frankie Amaya Super Rare for a quarter of a coin, which comes in at 0.65. So they covered more than 50% of the price of him. Both of those cards, the reason that's significant is both those cards were rewards that I picked up earlier in my so rare journey. So the profit I got from them, I really have no problem at all rolling that in with some ease that I maybe got from selling other cards over the last couple of days. Even though I'm, set, I'm saving up for a bit of a fund for you know what, you can probably guess. I don't mind going and getting somebody like Dennis Suarez who I've been watching this season. I've been watching Santa Vigo closely. I know a bit about his history. I know a bit about his previous potential profile that he used to carry and I think this is a great, I'd probably class this as a tier 2 unique really, maybe a bottom end tier 1. Um, so not the highest of calibre but again for the price I got him for and what he fits into the club with, I'm absolutely made up guys, you can probably tell. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to leave a comment down below, what do you think about my unique, did I get a good price for it, do you like Dennis Suarez, what's your thoughts, what about my rare tonali that I've just won, what do I do, I've got a rare and a super rare, what would you do, and yeah, rewards day, did you pull anything, let me know down below and we'll get talking about that in the comment section, as always guys, do not forget to like, subscribe and share and retweet and all that good stuff, stay out of trouble and I will catch you on the next one, take care, bye bye.